Hey Gemini, Gemini Rising, this is your January Love Focus Reading for 2015. So um, straight away, the Sun card in reverse, stating that you have bet on the wrong horse and things have come to an abrupt end or things are not working out as you wanted them to. Um, for some of you, it's the X. Or if you're going to hear from the ex this month, don't go there. You're going to completely waste your time. Don't settle. Don't settle for the past. Get ready for the future. And the other card I got was the magician in reverse as well, which is reflecting, looking within, finding out why it is that you settle for second best. Why do you feel unworthy? Why it is that you keep choosing the same people who do not, exalt you in your path they don't support you they don't give you back what you give them i feel like you have you've been looking after everybody else and so when it's your time you settle for much less than you deserve whether this be time constraints or whether you have come from an abusive relationship or an abusive home life and so you settle because you're very lonely or for there's a myriad of reasons why you would settle. The Seven of Wands in reverse as well, all your cards were reversed this month. Um, for some of you, your partner's put you on a pedestal and you have taken advantage. It's just time to stop. I don't want to say drama queen because that's not quite the quite the word. It's it's time for you to bring yourself down to earth. You're not perfect. Don't behave as if you are. Arrogancy and behaving in this manner is just going to get you um dumped and this person who has you on a pedestal absolutely adores you and this is a forewarning that you should adjust your behavior or, or you will lose it all for the ones that have bet all and things just haven't been working out it could be for some of you you've just met someone they've just been in your sphere and you've put a bit of time in and you're not getting the response that you should be getting at this time you don't feel like you're, you're moving or progressing um again some of you it's the x you just keep going back and going back and going back it's familiarity it's it's easy um it's hard to date and that those feelings can't just be cut off it's a time this month for you to gradually go through the process of grieving the, the relationship, forgiving yourself for settling, forgiving yourself for not giving you yourself your, your full worth. Uh, this is a month for you to in, in a reflect, to, to look within and find out why can't you be single? Why can't you be on your own? Why can't you honour yourself? Why do you have to settle? There's nothing wrong with being on your own. And for some of you, you have really, you really have had more patience. There's a fine line between really putting work into a relationship and having a lot of patience and becoming a doormat. And you are really getting to that point. A few things need to happen. If you're in a relationship and this relationship can be salvaged, then there needs to be an equal balance. Now, this could be you or this could be your partner. There's no equal balance. Something has the balance of power was shifted all to one side and the other person's only settling and the other person's doing all the taking. The other person's doing all the giving. This person's doing all the taking. So you need to reflect and really find out what it is you want. Find out what it is that you need in life. Can you be on your own for a while? Can you just focus on yourself for a while? So that's your January reading and I'll see you in February.